Now, new surveys reveal that we're becoming a lonely and isolated lot, with many of us losing touch with friends, especially after having children. The survey shows that having offspring results in a trade-off of roughly two children to one close friend. I don't know how they figured that out. <laughs> Such a strange yeah. result. But, you know, do, do you think it's true, Colleen? You know, that once you have kids, you become more isolated? Well, or? I have to say that I'm the complete opposite. Once I had children, I gained friends. Because mm -hmm. before I had... I lived in London, and all my family lived in Blackpool at the time when I had Shane Jr. And I didn't really know anybody in London. Um, so when I made Shane Jr., I've now met friends that will be two friends, especially who will be friends for the rest of my life. They're like my best friends. I've mm. known them since Shane was a baby. Um, so it actually worked the opposite for me. I, I mean, I must admit, I can, I can sort of see that. You obviously don't have yeah. kids, Carol, so... What, what I'll do have friends. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I, I've, I've loads of friends, actually, and I've said it before, I have lost uh, quite a few friends to children, but only temporarily... I mean, not, you know, not in that sense, but, only, but temporarily, you know, because I do understand and I do appreciate that when... When people have children, it is kind of... It's all encompassing, isn't it? Mm. It takes up all of your time and energy. And, and if they haven't got time for friends as well, that's fine, because they kind of come back. You know, a lot of my friends have had kids, and their kids are just growing up now. They're at school, they're getting to be independent. And I do see more of them now, so... You don't, but do you not see your friends because they've got children, though? Have you made that choice yourself? Not, not really. No, I haven't actually said, right, that's it, I'm never speaking to you again because you've got you've a got baby. Children. Yeah, yeah, no, I wouldn't say that. I, I... Do you think maybe they had children so they had an excuse not to be your friend? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Of course not. I mean, you know, it's just that's just the way life is, isn't it? I mean, I did sort of uh, at one stage because so many of my friends were having children and and they didn't really have time for for, for friends and going out and that sort yeah. of stuff. And I, I sort of noticed my friend, um, my friends getting younger and younger because they didn't have the children. Yeah. And actually, almost all of my my female friends now have kids. So the children from... became your friends and you got rid of the yeah. adults. Yeah. And you went out with the children. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the opposite as well, Colleen. I would say that since, especially you know, you move if you do move to a new area, it's a lot easier to make friends once you have kids because you're forced out the door. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because you know, you you have to drop the kids off and you stand at the school gate and you wait for them and stuff and you end up chatting. And I, I've made some lovely friends in the past couple of years just through, um, you know, through through my two kids. So well, you have more same... in common than just children. Yeah, of course. I mean, you obviously, you know, if you go to a school where there's a couple of hundred pupils there, you meet lots of parents, but you do yeah. gradually get to, in the same way you do in real life, you get to filter out, you know, who do you, you think, do But do you think Steve has, lo has lost friends because he has children now, so he hasn't got the mates, or does that not count with He's men? He's a bloke, doesn't figure. Do you really I think, think so? That's, I think that's quite pertinent, actually. I don't necessarily think it... it, it pertains to men as much as to women because most of the time it's the women who do do the school run and, yeah. and get involved and maybe dropping them to after school yeah. clubs and, and this sort of thing. just yeah. carry on. Pretty, like pretty much. Changed, yeah. yeah. I remember when I had Keely and um, I, I, we didn't take into consideration that we had a baby really and so we kind of tried to do everything, you know, carry on as normal life and I like to play dots and I remember thinking, Mm, patting baby, mm, double top. <laughs> patting baby, double top. And I thought, it, that doesn't work somehow because you've got to use that hand to pat and use that. Well, so and as long as you remember to throw the dart. Well, yes, not the baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I think, I think, it does, I think your social life completely yes. changes. Yeah. You're shattered and all the friends that are going out and doing all, going to the pub and going out, you can't do it. It just no. completely changes. Your whole life completely... Or well, you your type of change friends change as well and you start doing things more in the daytime meeting up for barbecues mm. or Sunday lunch or something because you can stay away and you, and you do do they? what Carol hates you know you do do the baby talk and oh look that's at all they baby. talk about yeah I, I mean I, I'm, I understand it though you know it's a, it's a big miraculous thing that's mm. happened but frankly I'm, I'm not particularly interested and you don't and you don't want to change a baby's nappy do you really no, don't, no. no of course I don't <laughs> I want to do, yeah, change nappies. <laughs> That's fair enough, no. though. You can only really change your own. Yeah, Any, you can. Anybody else's? I don't wear nappies. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> your own children. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> now, I'll change your nappy when you're done. Oh. Um, now.